For this project, any Category 3 yarn will work, but I used two skeins of Baby Burnett Sport Yarn in the color Indigo. As for tools, a 6 and a 4 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's an optional written pattern that can help out too, link in the description if you'd like to grab that and follow along. Or watch to the end of the video to find out how to enter this week's giveaway for that pattern. We're using three stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain Slip stitch Single crochet and double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this cardigan started, we're first going to grab our category 3 yarn, make a slip knot, we're also going to grab our 6mm hook, and start off by making a chain that is the length of our cardigan that we want, not including the border that we're going to do after that. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 52 inches or 132 centimeters, and that is roughly 185 chains. Now that we have our chain, the next row we're going to go into is a row of regular single crochets. So all we're going to do is block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and then into the second chain from our hook or the loop that we blocked off with our thumb, we're going to go in with a single crochet. And we're just going to go all the way down our chain, putting one single crochet into every loop that we have. And a really quick tip is when you're going in with this row of single crochet, don't pull your work too tight, otherwise your work will shrink up by quite a bit. So try to keep your grip as loose as you did when you guys made your chain. We'll go ahead and keep doing this all the way down, and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can get started on our design. Now that we have our first row of single crochet, the first thing that we're going to do for our detail is just a bunch of front post single crochets. So all that is, is a chain up of one at every side that we make it over to, and then into this first single crochet post, we're going to be ignoring this first single crochet post that we have right here, but into this first one, we're going to be inserting our hook in through the gap in between the first and second single crochet post and then bringing it through along the other side and then single crocheting it closed. So we will not be going in through these tops that we usually go into. So let's do it together. We're going to insert our hook behind this post in the previous row and then bring it through the other side so you only have one thing over our hook. From here we're going to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. That is a regular single crochet. Let's do the next front post single crochet together. We're going to be going in through the second and the third single crochet gap that we have, and then bring it through the other side of the third, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And that is our second front post single crochet. Let's do just one more together. In between the third and the fourth single crochet, there's that gap. Insert your hook underneath that gap. Insert your hook through the other side, and single crochet. And we're going to keep doing front post single crochets all the way down our work. And this is going to give us that ribbing detail that we want along the entirety of the body. So go ahead and make your way all the way down to the end. Once we make our way to the end, I'm going to show you guys where to end it. And then we can just continue doing front post single crochets until this chunk that we have reaches the length of shoulder tip to shoulder tip. But we'll talk about that in the next clip. We've made it all the way down with our first row of front post single crochets and then just if you guys want to see the ribbing, if you want to flip it over, this is the ribbing that we've made for ourselves and this is going to be the entirety of this cardigan. And we just have one more loop left to go into and all we're going to do is just go into that last turning chain that we made for ourselves with a front post single crochet. And all that is, is there's going to be this one loop at the very end. We're going to insert our hook behind that one and then single crochet. So it's basically a regular single crochet, but we're not going to be going in through the tops of the loops. I just wanted to show you guys because there's no front post right next to it, so it may seem a little weird. But once when we have that, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then do more rows of front post single crochets. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth like this until the width of what I have is a total of 13 inches or 33 centimeters. 
and we just want to make sure that the width that we have doesn't reach over the tips of our shoulders because if it does once when we add in the sleeve it's going to end up pushing it up a little bit and so we're going to have a little poof at our shoulders and we don't want that so go ahead and make this piece until you guys get the length that you guys need and then i'll meet you guys back so this is what we should have once when we have our entire back piece all finished up. It is folded in half so that it's easier to show you guys, but the length is all here. And once when we have this, the next thing we're going to have to do is start working on our underarm portions. So when it comes to doing our underarm portion, we're going to need to start by putting in two stitch markers, one on either side of our work. And that's basically just going to be right where our underarm starts. And in order to get started on this underarm portion, we're going to be inserting our stitch markers into the opposite end of where our working yarn is. And that's so that we don't have to cut and tie, we can just get straight into the underarm chunk that we're going to do right after that. And the length from the top from where I inserted my stitch markers from the top is 6.5 inches or 17 centimeters or roughly 30 loops. But once we do have our stitch markers, we can just start working from the bottom up to our stitch marker with more front post single crochets. And then from there, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then start doing some decreases into the first two front posts that'll eventually give us a decline that we need. So getting started on this first row of our underarm portion, we just inserted our hook back into where our working yarn was, which is on the bottom. We're going to do a chain up of one, and we're just going to do front post single crochets all the way down until we hit that stitch marker that we put into our work. So front post single crochet again is just inserting your hook behind the post in the previous row, going in between the two single crochets that we have, and then from there just single crochet regularly. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we hit our stitch marker, so I'll meet you guys back once when we're there. So we've made our way all the way down to our stitch marker and did our last front post single crochet that we're going to be doing for this row, and we're going to be doing a decrease together, and all that is is doing a chain up of one, we will be flipping our work and then once we have that we're going to decrease into this second front post and then the third front post and we're counting this one as the first front post just so that we don't get confused so into the second one we're going to insert our hook behind that front post just like how we've been doing we're going to yarn over pull through and then we should have two loops on our hook from there we're going to insert our hook behind the third front post just like that yarn over pull through just that one we should have three loops on our hook from there we're going to yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook, and that is our decrease. And then once we have that, we're just going to go all the way down, putting one front post single crochet into every loop that we have. Once we make it to the end, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then bring it on back down, leaving the last two loops because we're going to be doing another decrease into those two front posts together. We just went all the way down with our front post single crochets, did a chain up of one, and then did front post single crochets back, leaving the last two front post single crochets so that we can decrease into those together. So we're just going to do it one more time into this next front post single crochet. We're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, and then into that next one, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through all three, and that is our decrease. And in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work and we might as well just do another decrease again together since we're here. So into the second front post we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, and then into the third one insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then as you guys can see it's starting to decrease quite nicely over here and we're just going to keep going back and forth just like that while maintaining the decrease along this side until just this decrease portion hits mid underarm and then once when it does that we're going to cut and tie and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side but i'll meet you guys back so that we can do the other side together so we are back and when it comes to our underarm portion this is what i have just this little guy right here just a bunch of decreases into the first two loops or last two depending on which way you're coming from and then once when i had the length that i wanted which was mid underarm i went ahead and cut and tied and we're going to do the same chunk that we did over here on the other side but the first row is going to be a little tricky maybe so we're just going to do that together but the first thing that we're going to have to do which we should have already done but if we didn't we're just going to insert our stitch marker into the same loop that we have on this side and then we're going to attach our yarn onto the bottom corner just like how we started this one off so attach it to the bottom corner and then we're going to work our way up 
with front post single crochets until we don't have any more front posts left to go into which is basically right next to the stitch marker and then from there we're going to keep doing our decreases back and forth until we have the same amount of rows that we have right here but right before we do all that which i don't know why i explained but right before we do all that we're just going to insert our hook into the corner together and then i'll show you guys where to do the rest of the front post single crochets for the first row so when it comes to doing the front post single crochet along the other side of our underarm portion there's going to be two ish loops that we can go into and i'm just going to show you guys which one to go into so into this first corner loop that we have the bottom one because our stitch marker is on the other side we are going to insert our hook insert our yarn onto our hook pull through and then from here we're going to chain up one to secure and then from here we're going to take a look at this next front post that we have in the previous row or basically the single crochet that we have in the previous row and this by previous row i mean the first row of regular single crochet because this is our original chain and then also our first row of regular single crochet in there because this is our original chain and then this is our first row of regular single crochet and if we separate it just a little bit you can see that there are these two gaps on either side of this first single crochet that we have and we're actually not going to be going into there because if we do our work is actually going to curve a little bit which you can if it's easier because if you guys went in with your chain and made it a little tight this next portion could be a little difficult so you can go into those loops if you guys want but just note that this first row will start to curve but the rest of it will be straight but if you guys would like to do it the same way that i'm doing it i'm actually going to be going underneath these loops that we would typically go into so just as an example this is the loop that we would usually go into if we were doing a regular single crochet right but we're not going to go into there we're actually going to be going into this first loop that we have underneath here and then we're going to bring it underneath this loop that is on the other side of it just like that and now it kind of looks like a front post single crochet or er, front post the start of one and then from here we're going to single crochet just like that and then by doing it that way we keep our lines just a little bit cleaner so we're going to do the next few together because i know this could be a little confusing could be a little hard to see but into this next regular loop that we would go into we're going to insert our hook underneath and then we're going to take a look at the next regular loop on the other side of it and then insert our hook into there and then insert it just like that so basically like doing a front post single crochet but we're not going directly into the single crochet that we have in the previous row just into the loops right on top let's do the next few together a couple more times into this next loop we're going to insert our hook and then into the loop that we have right after that bring it through that loop as well yarn over pull through that one and this could possibly be a little difficult like how it is for me if your chain was a little tighter so i apologize but this is what's going to give us the best outcome and then once we have that let's just do one more together and then i'll let you guys do the rest by yourself but into this next loop we're going to be inserting our hook and then into the next loop that we have right after that insert your hook bring that through we're going to yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two single crochet closing that just like normal and this this and this is our first few front post single crochets if we flip it over we do have that similar type of ribbing that we have for the rest of this body portion but once when this row is finished we are going to do a chain up of one decrease in the first two front posts and then do regular front post single crochets right after that and then we're going to keep going back and forth just like that until we have the same amount of rows as we have on the other side for our other underarm portion and then once when we have that all finished up i'll meet you guys back so that we can get started on the front panel okay so our work once when we are done with the other underarm portion should look a little something like this i try to make it look even on camera but this piece is so big that we actually can't see the whole thing on camera but this is the side that we just worked on as you guys can kind of tell this is our row of that front post single crochets where we went underneath the loop instead of in between the single crochets in the first row but everything is straight so that's looking good right there and then we just kept going back and forth until we had the same amount of rows that we had on this side which is the first chunk that we did and then once we have that we cut and tied and then the next portion we're actually going to be working on the front panel and it's going to be exactly the same way that we did 
this back panel, but it's going to be about a quarter of it because it's a front panel. We don't need it to be that big, but I'm just going to show you guys what I have because I have one side already done and then we'll get started on it together. So this is my first front panel that I did by myself. And as you guys can see, it is basically exactly the same way that we did the back. So all I did was figured out where the middle portion was because this portion is obviously going to be where our neck is. And then I measured over about two inches or five centimeters. And then I left that as a gap along this side because we will have a border along this way as well. But from there, I went in with just a chain that is the original chain length that we made for our body portion, which was a super duper long one. And then I just made it all the way over until I had the right amount of rows that I needed for this, I guess we can call this a shoulder chunk. And then from there, we did the same amount of underarm portion that we have in the back and everything should mirror each other. So same thing that we did for the back, just a lot smaller, which is great because the back took a really long time. But once when we have this, we can go ahead and start working on the other side. So I'm just going to get it started with you. And then I'll meet you guys back once when we have this chunk finished up. And then I'll just remind you guys how to do this underarm portion one more time. And then I'll let you guys finish off the first one and then do the second one by yourselves. So getting started on the front panel, we're going to grab our same yarn, make a slip knot. We're still grabbing our six millimeter hook. And then we're just going to start off by making a chain that is the exact same length as the long portion of our back piece that we have. And then once when we have our chain, we're going to go in with a row of single crochet. So we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and then into that second loop that we have from our hook or the one that we blocked off with our thumb, we're going to go in with a single crochet and that's it just put single crochets into every loop going all the way down once we make it to the end do a chain up of one and then we're going to do a bunch a bunch of front post single crochets now that we have our first row of single crochets all finished up we're just going to go in with some front post single crochets so i'm just going to do one as a quick refresher and then i'll let you guys do the rest on your own so what we're going to do is do a chain up of one flip our work and then in between the first and third there is a <laughs> second single crochet and we're just going to be inserting our hook in between those two gaps so we're going to insert our hook in through that first gap and then bring it through the next gap and then single crochet and then keep doing this all the way down once you guys get to the end do a chain up of one flip your work work your way back and then keep going back and forth just like that until you guys have the shoulder chunk of your desired size and then we'll meet each other back so that we can do our underarm portion together. So I am back with my little shoulder chunk and now we're just going to go in with our row of underarm portion. And as you guys can see, I have already inserted my stitch marker into the same loop that we had for the back portion, making sure that it's all even. And then from here, we're just gonna do front post single crochets all the way up until we get to this last front post. Then we're going to do a chain up of one, do a decrease into the first two front posts, and then do front post single crochets back down. And I won't show you guys that because I know that you guys already know how to do it. I'm sure you guys are sick of it. But we're just going to keep going back and forth just like that until we have the same amount of rows as we have for the back portion. So that's going to be our guide for this. And then once when we have that, go ahead and cut and tie. And then we're going to do the same exact thing just one more time. So another shoulder chunk that is the same size as the first one. So you guys can use that as a template now. And then once you guys have that, you guys are going to go in with a row of, or with a row, with a little section of our underarm portion. And then from there, we can start to attach everything, start work on the bottom border. Well, actually bottom border first, and then attach everything. And then we can get started on the sleeves and the front border. So go ahead and get those two front panels done. And then I will meet you guys back once when we have the back panel, the two front panels all finished up and then I'll show you guys what they look like on and then I'll show you guys how to do the bottom border from there. Okay, so we are back. We have our back panel here, front panel number one, front panel number two, and everything is even. If you guys want to flip over just the front panels, everything is mirroring the back. So we are in good shape and now we can start working along the bottom border. So I already did the bottom border for one of the front panels and then the back panel entirely. 
So I'll just show you guys how to do the bottom border for one of the front panels, but it will be exactly the same for pretty much everything. So go ahead and grab your four millimeter hook and get it ready. And then we can get started on the bottom border. So getting started on our bottom border, the first row is going to be fairly simple. We're still using our six millimeter hook for now, but we're just going to be inserting our hook into that corner loop that we have. And then if I can find the end of my yarn, we will be making a slip knot, inserting that onto our hook. And then from here, we're just going to go across with a row of single crochets. And there's not going to be any pretty loops for us to go into. So we're just going to have to find one and commit to it and then just keep doing that all the way down and then once we reach the end grab your four millimeter hook because we will be switching out so we've just made our way all the way down with our first row of single crochet along the bottom of our front panel what we're going to do take out our six millimeter hook switch out for our four and then from here we're going to start off by making a chain that we want our bottom border to be so whatever length we want so I actually just want my bottom border to be about three inches or eight centimeters. So from here, I'm just going to make a chain of that length, which is about 15 chains. Once we have our chain, what we're going to do is block off that last chain. We're going to do a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet. And from here, we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off or the fourth loop from our hook with a double crochet and then from here we're just going to go all the way down our chain putting one double crochet into every loop and once we don't have any more loops left to go into into the chain we will be slip stitching into the base which is the bottom of our front panel that we're currently working in so i'll meet you guys back once when we don't have any more loops left to go into Now that we put one double crochet into every loop in our chain, what we're going to do is start doing slip stitches into the base so that it can form our bottom border. And as you guys can see, I like to work down the spine of my chain. So my work is actually flipped the opposite way. If you guys like to do that too, then just flip your work whatever way you guys need to so that it can go into the base normally. But if you guys didn't have that problem, then ignore what I just said and then slip stitch into that second loop from the base. So into this first loop, we're not going to go into there, but into the second loop, we're going to go in with a slip stitch and that closes off this first row of double crochets that we just did. So if I can get my life together, this is what it looks like. And once we have that in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into the next two loops that we have in our base. From there, we're going to flip our work. And then we're going to go in with back loop double crochet. So same deal, but we're going to be going in through the back loops just like that. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down. Once we make it to the end, chain up three. And then once we have that, do more back loop double crochets going back towards the base. Once we get to the base, we're going to slip stitch into that second loop that we have to close off that row. And then from there, we're going to slip stitch up the next two and that works our way up to the next row. And then we're going to keep doing that all the way down until we don't have any more loops left to go into and basically just repeat that for the rest of the amount of single crochets that we've just made for ourselves into our base. Now, once when we have got that covered, we're going to cut and tie, and then we're going to do the same thing for the other front panel, which will be exactly the same as this. And then also for the back panel as well, which is exactly the same, just a little bit longer. So once when you guys have all three of those pieces done, I'll meet you guys back so that we can start connecting everything. We've now just finished up doing the bottom border on both of the front panels and also the back panel that we have right here. And now we can actually attach the front panel to the back panels via the shoulders and then also along the sides. And really quickly before we get started on that, because that's pretty simple, I have inserted my stitch markers into the sides because I do want a slit along the side of the body. I've already gotten one side done and we're going to do the next one together. But just to let you guys know, when it comes to the slit, I actually counted up just from this body portion, not the bottom border portion, and I counted up 20 loops. And then that was just easier for me to figure out, but actually from the stitch marker all the way down to the bottom border is eight inches or 20 centimeters. So that is all up to you guys. If you guys want a slit, go ahead and add it just like how I did. Or if you don't, then don't. But I did put a stitch marker into the front panel and into the back panel just so that I knew where to go into. 
And then now that we have that, we're first going to connect the shoulders and then we will connect the side body portion and then we can go in with our sleeves. And now that we have sectioned off our bottom for the slit, we're first gonna go in with our shoulder portion and that's gonna be fairly simple. All we're gonna need to do is take our front panel, sandwich it to our back panel, and then we're going to insert our six millimeter hook into these two corner loops and then we're gonna go in together with a row of single crochet. So starting off with this corner, we're first going to insert our 6mm hook into the front panel's corner loop and also into the back panel's corner loop. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through everything, and then once we get here, we're going to chain up one to secure. And from here, we're just going to go all the way across until we don't have any more of our front panel left to go into with a row of single crochet, making sure that we're going in through the same loop that we have into the front panel and in through the back panel. So we're just going to have to eyeball it from here because there aren't any real loops, but I'm going to insert my hook into this first available loop in the front and then into the same loop that we have in the back. And then we're going to single crochet. Let's do the next one together as well. So into the next available loop that we have into the front and also the next available loop that we have into the back and then single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we don't have any more of this front panel left to go into. And once we get to the end, we are going to cut and tie. We've now made it all the way to the end of our shoulder portion along this side. So now we're just going to turn our work so that we can start going into the side together. And we're going to be starting right where the underarm portion is. So this is where our shoulder is. We're going to be inserting our hook into this corner, into the front panel, and then also into the same corner that we have into the back panel. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and then we're going to chain up one to secure. And they're basically going to be doing the same thing that we did up for the shoulder, but this time we do have actual loops for us to go into, so it's a little bit easier. So we're just going to do the first few together, and then I'll let you guys have at it from there. So going into the side portion of the body, we're first going to insert our hook into the next available loop in the front panel, and then also into the next available loop that we have in the back panel. From there, we're just going to single crochet everything together. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down until you guys reach the bottom or until you guys reach the stitch marker, however far you guys are deciding to go down. But once when you guys have reached that point, go ahead and cut and tie, and then you guys can do it to the other side. I already have mine done, but the only tip that I have for you guys is just to make sure that once you guys do go in with the other side, that our seams are all facing the same side so that once we do flip this right side out, it's nice and clean on the other side. So go ahead and do that, and then I'll meet you guys back. We have just finished up seaming up the entirety of our side and now that everything is all closed up we can start to go in with our single crochet that goes around our armhole and then from there we can start on the sleeve. So to start off doing the armhole we're first going to grab our 6 millimeter hook and then we're going to insert our hook into any one of these loops that's on either side of this side seam that we just finished up. It doesn't matter which one, we're just going to be going in that direction once we start going in with the first side of our sleeve. So now that my hook is in there, I'm going to make a slip knot and insert my yarn onto my hook. And now that our hook is in here, all we're going to do is pull through, chain up one to secure. And this part's going to be super simple. We're just going to go all the way around our armhole with a row of single crochet. So for this first little underarm portion, there's not going to be any real loops for us to go into. So we're just going to have to find one and then keep working our way up all the way up and over and then we're going to have the same problem no not really once when we get over here to our other underarm portion just find a loop and then single crochet into that and then once we make our way all the way back down to this first loop that we made for ourselves go ahead and cut and tie and then we can start working on the sleeve we have just finished up going around with a row of single crochet around the entirety of the armhole that we have that's on the cardigan and we have put that away and now we're going to get started on the sleeve. And we are doing the sleeve separately from the cardigan this time because the cardigan is very heavy. 
and trying to attach it onto the card again from the beginning would actually be a lot harder because we would need to flip the entire thing over every single time we would need to do a new row. So doing it this way is a lot quicker. All we'll need to do is just seam it all together. And it is basically the same way that we would do it if it was attached to the cardigan. It's just not. We need to go on with a single crochet seam once when we're done with our sleeve sides. But, but with all that out of the way, we can just go ahead and get started on our sleeve first. So at this point, we're going to want to put the cardigan on so we can figure out our sleeve length. And from the under portion of our armhole that we have, we're going to want to measure out to see how long we want our sleeve to be. Mine is going to be a three quarter length sleeve. So mine is going to be a total of 13 inches or 33 centimeters. And that includes the cuff as well. And my cuff within those 13 inches is two and a half inches or six centimeters. And that measurement actually comes out to about 55 chains. So we're going to grab our six millimeter hook and start off by making the chain length that we need but also grab our four millimeter hook because we will also need that soon we have just gone in with our chain and we just need to figure out where we want our cuff to be right before we get started so like i said in the previous clip i wanted my cuff to be about two and a half inches or six centimeters and that comes out to about 15 chains so from this bottom end that we're at, I counted up 15 and inserted my stitch marker. And then from there, we're going to go in with our six millimeter hook with a row of single crochet. Once we hit that stitch marker, we're going to be switching out for our four millimeter hook. And then we're going to go in with slip stitches. And then we're going to keep going back and forth like that, alternating between front post single crochets and back loop slip stitches until we have the sleeve size that we need. So just to get this first row started off with each other, what we're going to need to do is block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and then into that chain that we blocked off, or the second one from our hook, we're going to go in with a row of single crochet. So this is going to be fairly simple. We're just going to go all the way down, putting one single crochet into every loop until we hit that stitch marker. Then we're going to be switching out for our four millimeter hook. We just single crocheted all the way down to our stitch marker. So what we're going to do is take out our six millimeter hook, grab our four, and then from here into this loop that has a stitch marker and then into every chain that we have after that, we're going to go in with a row of slip stitches, but don't put that stitch marker far away because we're actually going to be putting it back into that loop just so that it's easier for us to eyeball where we need to start doing our slip stitches. So there's our first one. And then just put one slip stitch into every loop going down the rest of our chain. Once we make it to the end, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then do back loop slip stitches going back towards our stitch marker. But once we get to the end of this row, I'll meet you guys back so that we can do the back loop slip stitches together. We are now at the end of this first row. We just finished our little chunk of slip stitches with our four millimeter hook. And what we're going to do from here is do a chain up of one flip our work and then into this first loop that we have we're going to be inserting our hook in through that back loop with another slip stitch and we're going to continue to do back loop slip stitches all the way down until we meet our stitch marker and then once we hit the stitch marker we're going to be going in with front post single crochets to match the rest of the cardigan and then from there do front post single crochets all the way down until we reach the end and then i'll meet you guys back so we're coming to the end of our second row of our sleeve and we're just going to be putting one front post single crochet into every post that we have. We will not be increasing into the even rows. So I have that one and then one more left. And then once we get here, we're going to get ready to do our increase into that third row. Flip our work and then into this first post, we're going to be doing an increase. So an increase into this first post is just inserting your hook in through that first post doing one front post single crochet and then into that same post that we just went into you're going to go into that one just one more time with one more front post single crochet just like that once we have that we're going to be putting one front post single crochet into every post that we have going all the way down towards our stitch marker once we make it to the stitch marker we're going to be switching out for our four millimeter hook and then we're going to be going in with back loop slip stitches once we get to the end chain up one back loop slip stitches back until we meet our stitch marker and then do front post single crochets all the way down. And when we're going towards the base of our sleeve, which is on this side, we will not be doing an increase. But when we do our chain up of one, flip our work to work our way back down towards the cuff, we will be doing an increase. So it's going to end up looking a little bit like this. 
and then we're going to be doing it for as many loops that we have for our cardigan. So let's show you guys what that looks like. So this is what we should have once when we have put our single crochets into every loop that we had into our armhole for the cardigan. And we're going to want to count the amount of loops that we have, but we're going to be cutting that in half because our sleeves that we're making, we're going to be making them into two. So the amount of rows that we need to make for our sleeve is going to be the same amount of rows that we have on one side of our armhole. So as an example, from this tip down to this underarm portion, I have a total of 40 loops. So for this one that I have that's already finished, I have 40 rows. And then once we have this, we're going to make a second one and then we're going to sandwich everything together and we're going to connect it with a single crochet seam. So you guys are going to do however many rows you guys need and then I will meet you guys back once when you guys have two of these panels so that we can connect everything together. We've just got finished up making two of our sleeve panels and right before we connect it into the cardigan, we're going to want to go in with a row of single crochet just along the base right here so that it's easier to connect into the cardigan. And from here, we're just going to let you guys have at it, but we are going to want to make sure that we have one single crochet per row that we have. So like I said in an earlier clip, I have 40 rows because I have 40 loops on one side of my cardigan's armhole. So I'm going to go in with a row of 40 single crochets and you guys can adjust it to however many loops you guys need. But go ahead and do that to both of your panels and then I'll meet you guys back. So now that we've gone in with our single crochets along the base of our sleeve, now we can start to attaching it into the armhole that we have. And we're going to be doing this one at a time so we can take one, place it off to the side. And what we're going to do first is just take the one side of our sleeve that we have and actually just kind of eyeball it and place it where it needs to go because we are going to have to, I guess, kind of sandwich the side of our armhole to the sleeve portion kind of in an upwards position like this because this is going to be where the seam is we want all the seams to match and be on the same side so go ahead and figure it out this may be a little bit different depending on what side you're starting on the right or the left or if you guys are doing the front panel or the back panel first that is all completely up to your work but once when we have figured out what side we need to uh sandwich together what we're going to do is just pick one of the ends. It doesn't matter, top or bottom. We're going to be inserting our six millimeter, millimeter, six millimeter hook into the bottom corner that we have into whatever panels in the front. Mine just so happens to be the sleeve. And then into that bottom corner loop that we have into the back panel. Insert our hook insert our yarn onto our hook and we're just going to very vaguely do the first few together because I'm sure you guys already know how to do this part but from here we're just going to pull through chain up one to secure and then from here we're just going to go into the row of single crochet making sure that we're going in through the front panel and the back panel at the same time so how we do that is insert our hook in through the first available loop into the front panel and then also into the next available loop that we have in the back panel once when our hook is through both, we're going to yarn over, pull through everything with a single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this all the way up until we don't have any more loops left into our sleeve. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can start to attach the second one. And then from there, we're going to go in with a single crochet seam along the bottom. And then an outside loop single crochet seam along the top. And then we will start on the front panel that we have, this little border. And then you guys can get started on the other side whenever we are finished with that. So we just got finished up going in with one side of our sleeve and we're going to be going in with the next one. I'm just going to show you guys how I am sandwiching mine together. But all we're going to do is just flip this one over seeing that this seam is along the top just like how this one is. We're just going to flip that over. We're going to take our other sleeve making sure that our longer side is on top. And from here just sandwich them together just like how we did the front. and then. Go in with a row of single crochets going all the way down until we don't have any more loops left into our seam. Cut and tie and then we're going to meet along the bottom so that we can do another row of single crochets seaming up the bottom of the sleeve. 
We've now just finished going in with the second panel of our sleeve and now we're going to go in along the bottom with a row of regular single crochet making sure we're going in through the front and the back panel at the same time. Basically the same way that we have been doing pretty much all of the seams that we've done so far. We're just going to be inserting our hook into this bottom side seam so that we don't have any gaps once when we go in with this loop. So I'm just going to show you guys where to insert your hook, how to start that off, and then I'll let you guys do the rest from there. So this is what we should have so far. This is our sleeve and then this is our body portion. What we're going to do is take a look at the seam that comes all the way up for the body portion and then find the last loop that we have into the seam. We're going to be inserting our hook into that last loop, insert our yarn onto our hook, and we're going to pull through. And then this next portion is going to be a little bit of a stretch, but we are going to want to take our hook and then insert it all the way over into the first available loop that we have in the front panel and the first available loop that we have in the back panel at the same time. So what we're going to do is stretch all the way over here, insert our hook into this first loop, and then also into the first loop into the back panel. And from there we will be single crocheting everything together. And then now we don't have any gaps along the bottom, it just goes straight from the seam to the bottom of the sleeve. So once we have that, we're just going to go all the way down with a row of single crochet, seaming both sides together. Chain up one and cut once we get to the end, and then we will be doing outside loop single crochets along the top portion, but I'll meet you guys back so that we can do that together. We just finished up seaming up the bottom portion of our sleeve, and now we're just going to seam up the top together. Starting off this top seam that we're going into, we're going to do the same thing that we did along the bottom, but instead of going in through the side seam, we're going to be going in through the top shoulder seam that we have right here. So we're just going to find this last loop that we have in the shoulder seam, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and then we're going to reach all the way over to this first loop that we have into our front panel. But into the front panel, we're only going to be going in through the front loop. So there's two loops right there that we would usually go into. We're just going to be going in through the front loop into the front panel. And then we're going to find the same loop in the back panel and then go in through that back loop only so that we can maintain a little bit of a ribbing look along the other side. But once when we have this, we're just going to single crochet everything closed. Let's do the next few together just to make sure that we got the hang of it. But into this next available loop, we're going to be inserting our hook only in through the front loop and then in through the next available loop in the back we're going to be inserting our hook only in through that back loop and then from there single crochet let's do one more together into the next available loop insert our hook into the front loop and then next loop into the back panel into that back loop single crochet and then we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we don't have any more loops left to go into. Once we make it to the end, we're going to chain up one and cut, and then we're going to get started on the front border. So we've just gone in with our sleeve, and the next thing we're going to do is start working on the front border that we have. But right before we get started on that, just along the inside of our back panel that we have, so the only part that's exposed, we're going to need to go in with a row of single crochet so that's going to be fairly simple all we're going to do is take our six millimeter hook insert our hook into the same loop that this shoulder chunk is into and then we're going to single crochet all the way across until we get to the next loop that this shoulder chunk is into and then we can chain up one and cut and then we're going to go in with our side panel so the only tip that i have for this portion is that we're going to want to be putting one single crochet into every loop that we have. So you're going to take a look at this first ridge. That's going to be a single crochet. The ridge that is facing the other end or the divot along this side, that is another single crochet. Here's one, here's two, here's one, here's two. And we're going to keep doing that all the way across. So when it comes to the back, this is what things should be looking like. We just went all the way across with a row of single crochet. And then from here, I have actually measured in from this first front panel because we're going to start working on the side. I measured in about two inches or five centimeters or that came out to about six loops. And then I have inserted my stitch marker into that sixth loop. And this is going to be the size of our front border that we have. And once when we have figured that out, I'm actually going to be flipping my work 
upside down because I figured that this is the easiest way to do it. So we're going to turn this over. So now our cardigan should be upside down. And then once when it is upside down, we can start going in with our front border. And all that is is just going to be a bunch of back loop double crochets. So how we're going to get started with this is we're first going to take a look at the front panel that we have along the side. We're going to count up two loops and we're going to insert our hook into that second loop. Next, we are going to be grabbing our yarn, inserting that onto our hook. Once when it's on our hook, we're going to pull through. And from here, we're going to prepare for a double crochet. And then into the first six loops that we have, we're just going to be putting one double crochet into each. So here is one double crochet, two double crochet, three, four, five, and then just one more. We can now take this stitch marker out, six. And this is my front border size. Yours can be as wide or as small as you guys want. But once when you guys have the size that you guys want, all we're gonna do is do a chain up of three. That counts as a double crochet. We will be flipping our work. And then once when we have flipped our work, we're gonna be going in with a bunch of back loop double crochets. So we're gonna prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into that first back loop with a double crochet. We're gonna keep doing this all the way down until we get to the base. We're going to count up two loops, slip stitch into that second to close off this row. And then to start our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops as well. But since we're here, we're just going to stick together so we can do that together. Once when we're at our last back loop, what we're gonna do is count up the next two available loops into the side. So here's one, here's two. Slip stitch into that second to close off this row. Once we have that, we're going to be slip stitching up the next two loops. There's one, and then there's two. And once we have that, we will be flipping our work and then doing more back loop double crochets going all the way down. And we're gonna keep going back and forth like this until we reach the bottom of our cardigan. Once when we don't have any more loops left to go into, we will cut and tie and do everything that we did here on this side along the other side. So the sleeve and the front border as well. So I'll meet you guys back once when we have both of these sides all finished up. And now that we have just gone in with our other sleeve and our other front border, we are actually all done. The last thing that we have to do is just weave in all of our ends. Here's the remix of the Duster Cardigan y'all love so much with some improvements and a pattern because I know you guys have been asking. Link in the description if you want to buy that or you can enter our weekly giveaway. All you got to do is comment and tell us if you had any New Year's resolutions to be entered to win both of this week's patterns. Good luck to everyone who enters. Giveaway aside, if you like this piece, give it a thumbs up and let us know what you liked about it. But if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, but let me know how we can improve. If you love it, be sure to hit that bell so you know when there's new uploads for you. Be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook, links down below. If you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel, links to Poshmark, Depop, and Etsy are down there too, along with tools used. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.